A Hackintosh is basically a computer running OS X that was never designed to run OS X. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be talking mostly about desktops, but this applies to laptops too. You can get Hackintosh laptops but there are even more work to do. So firstly, why would you want to build or otherwise acquire a Hackintosh? Well, you can save yourself quite a lot of money. It's going to come as a surprise to absolutely no one that Macs are rather expensive. That doesn't mean they're not good value, but you do need a lot of money to get a new Mac. If you try and build a computer and perfectly match the features and the specs of a regular Mac, it doesn't end up being that much cheaper. So what you can do is not match the features, just stick a good CPU, good GPU, some decent amount of RAM in a computer, miss out on all the other features, and you get a lower budget computer. There's also a bit more customizability. You can balance different CPUs with different powers of GPU, different amounts of RAM in lots of different configurations, and you can choose what sort of case you want this computer to be in. Another money related point is that you don't have to put all the money into the computer at once. You can buy the CPU, the GPU, but then get a bit less RAM than you want, and later you can add some more RAM in. But it's not all good. There are some disadvantages to Hackintoshes too. The main one, as you might be able to guess, would be the instability and a little bit of uncertainness that comes along with a Hackintosh. Hackintoshes can sometimes develop some rather strange personality quirks, shall we say. On one of the Hackintoshes that I built, whenever you opened a YouTube video in Safari, the video wouldn't play until you refreshed the page and then it would play, but there'd be two seconds of silence, then the speakers would pop and then you'd have audio. Audio issues are often a fairly common problem with Hackintoshes. You can do various things with drivers and texts, but usually it's gonna be easier to buy an external sound card. And that brings me on to my next point, compatibility. Now, it's a really good idea to check a website like Tony Max, where you can see all sorts of components that work with a Hackintosh, because not all components are a good idea. If you have an AMD processor, well, good luck. Because the operating system is obviously coded by Apple, they only code support for components that they use in their own computers. Hence, no real AMD support, and certain graphics cards work a lot better than others do. Right now, it would be a bit sketchy to use a 10 series NVIDIA graphics card in a Hackintosh, because Apple don't use the 10 series in any of their computers. But if all of that sounds a bit complicated, then don't worry, you can check Tony Max for some recommended components. One question a lot of people ask on the internet is, are Hackintoshes legal? Well, the reply to that is a bit... Mm. Chances are you'll be fine, just don't start a company that sells Hackintoshes, because someone did, and they got shut down pretty quickly. Apple have some of the best looking minimalist industrial design type computers on the market, and you're gonna struggle to get that with a Hackintosh. You're certainly not gonna get anything like an iMac with the all-in-one form factor. You're gonna end up with a tower, keyboard, mouse, and external monitors. That may or may not bother you, but if you want the true Apple experience, then it's something to be aware of. And then there's customer support. Well, it's really non-existent. You can try some forums for any errors you may be having, but good luck taking it to your local Apple store and asking the geniuses for help with your Hackintosh. I would guess that they're not going to be very happy. So is it worth getting a Hackintosh? Well, I would say that depends on your budget. You can save yourself a bit of money, just don't expect to get the same level of quality that you would from a genuine Apple product. If you found this video helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing for more content, and I will see you later.